Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Shadow. Go get a types YouTube channel. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you comment so you can, uh, so I can kind of get some more ideas on um, what y'all want to see. So today what we're doing is we're doing a vinyl t-shirt um, and a t-shirt transfer. So what I'm going to do is show y'all the best paper to use. In my opinion, because I mean, for real, for real, all the paper kind of the same to me. But once again, you know, do your research. But I've I've had good results on that 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 Walmart paper. <clears throat> it's pretty. It's it, it, it ain't bad. But uh, what I use is Nina. Nina paper. I just use it the um. They call it the three G Jetta Page Two. Um, I use this on white and dark colors so i don't you know i don't switch it up i don't switch it up um the reason because i just like the way it feels like this stays on top of the shirt and the uh, i think the the transfer paper for the light garments like goes into the shirt i mean it's pretty cool you know what i'm saying so whatever floats your boat this paper right here floats my boat so i keep buying it um so that's what i'm gonna do all right Man, I'm running out of space. So, what I've done there, pretty much I just loaded it into my printer. The printer that I use is the Canon Pro 10. And the reason why I got the Canon Pro 10 is because I needed a printer to um, print out, you know, 13 by 19. Um, if you're a screen printer, then you know that, that definitely comes in handy when you print out transparencies. And this was like the only 13 by 19 um, size printer that I could actually print, you know, those transfer sheets, those 13 by 19 transfer sheets for the screen printing. And it um, also prints 11 by 17. But if you're in the market for, if you're shopping for a printer, uh, make sure you do your research. I did a little research for you here. Uh, this is for the, let's go back, let's go back. Do, 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 do. All right, so if you look right here, this HP Office Jet, it seems like it's a decent printer. You know what I'm saying? Um, HP is a quality brand. When I first started out, I had an Epson. It sucked. Then I switched to an HP, but it didn't print 11 by 17. But the HP is good. And the key thing you're looking for is what kind of ink it used. Because a lot of printers, they may be cheap. Um, like the Epson Artesian, I think it's like 1300 But it prints... Um, it prints dye based ink. It runs off dye based inks. And you kind of want to stay away from dye based inks when you're printing out t shirt transfers in my in my experience. Like what happens is the uh dye end up washing off. Cause you know it's water based. You know, this is actually in the um in the paper. The water base kind of stays on top. So it's a it's a thinner ink. Um print quality not so good. Uh, when you use a train, it's good, but you know what I'm saying if you want something to hold up in the wash, because these transfer papers they they're pretty tough. They're not like what they used to be. Um, so if you want something that holds up in the wash, these pigment-based inks work, and they produce. You know, if you look at a lot of photographers' YouTube channels, they say pigment inks over dye-based inks because it produces a more vivid image. You know what I'm saying? Basically, same thing here. Stay away from those dye-based printers. Do your research, of course, because you might end up liking it, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it because I, whoo, man, I messed up a big order <laughs> with them messing with that, um, with the dye base inks. So, all right, back to, do what, back to doing what I'm doing. All right, so in order to print out what I got to print out, I'm in my Photoshop, in my Photoshop, y'all. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it from pixels. I'm going to go to inches. Uh, so since my paper is 11 by 17, I'm going to just size it 11 by 17. Um, as long as the resolution is over 300, you're good. Uh, I'll just put it at 300. I had it at 720. I don't know what I was doing. So I'm going to do it like that. Boom. All right. So the image that I want to use, um, got a client. She wants to um, give people hugs. So, you know what I'm saying? She said put a rainbow in it. Uh, put that rainbow in it like that. Yep, yep, yep. Clean it up a little bit. Clean that up a little bit. 
use my eraser tool, use my selector tool. You know, if you want me to do a, a deeper Photoshop tutorial, I can. Just let me know, let me know, let me know. All right, because that was quick. Boom. Look at that. Quick. Now we got a rainbow. So now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with gas. All right, so I'm going to size it, Um, maybe like, let's do 10. Let's do 10 or leave. Boom. Turn it this way. Um, we already got the paper loaded in there. Um, the inks I use for my, man, for my, shoot, I messed around and bought some Chinese ink. But I went back to the HP inks. And um, I noticed a, a difference in the color. So I hope this comes out right. I mean, these these are good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, the price is like twenty dollars for you get a whole pack for twenty. It's like ten inks that come in. The HP ones are running running about two hundred dollars. But um, you know what I'm saying? These are handy, handy, handy. But if I get my subscribers back up, I might be switching over to the HP ink. I mean the uh. The Canon inks again. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna send this on off to the printer. We already plugged up. Okay, so it's file, uh, print, 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 print. All right, so that looked good. Um, color copies. I'm gonna do one copy. Uh, click the print button. See this printer? It takes some. It take a long time to fucking print. It's gonna take a minute. So what I'm gonna do? I think y'all pretty much got the gist of everything. Um, you know what I'm saying? Once you cut it out, uh, and this came yesterday, I got this from Amazon. This is a little, you know, this is a cutter. You know, I need this for real, for real. I was just kind of freehanding my cuts, but it was coming out a little sloppy. So I got the, um, this cutter. I think it was like $10. And, you know, Amazon is, a, Amazon is the wave. So this was like $10, you know, ain't nothing too much. It came in one day. With the Amazon Prime subscription. So that's that's a plus right there for real. Yeah, but um yeah, let me know for future videos what y'all want to see more of. If you want to get if you want me to go more in depth with this in depth with this video, um make sure you comment and I appreciate y'all. I'm almost at 20 subscribers. I'm trying to hit one million. So share with your friends. If y'all want to start a t-shirt business, contact your boy. Um, and I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos. So, if you know, if I start going left, because I can go left real quick. You know what I'm saying? I got a video on deck about the pH of water. I, I'm kind of curious to see if, if these um, alkaline waters are holding up to the test. So, you know, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be testing them out. <laughs> so, my videos will go... Yeah, I'm going to make a left just to get right back on track. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm just rambling now. I'm waiting on this thing to print. I'm trying to show you all the color. But I know this junk going to take a long time. It's going to take a minute. Look at that. It's like a turtle. See, that's the only downside about this printer. I mean, it's big. I mean, it's good, but it's slow as a turtle. Oh, and one more thing about the pigment-based inks. You got to make sure that you don't let this thing collect dust. You know what I'm saying? Um, just print something out. Print something out. You ain't got to be printing t-shirt transfers. Um, you could just print, you know what I'm saying, some black and white stuff. Just print some out at least once a week just to keep those inks flowing. Um, that way you'd be in good shape with... Um, you know, the shit and that, the print here is not clogging up on you. Because I had this for like, I think about two years. Um, and it, the print here is never clogged up on me. I also had the Canon Pro 100. But I learned that that was a dye base printer. And that's the printer that I've messed up everything on. The lady was like, I threw it in a washing machine and it, it faded. Everything is fading. So... Luckily, she didn't ask for a refund, but I, you know, just being a kind-hearted person, I refunded a little something, something, a little something, something. Not too much. <laughs> yeah, because that was when I was first starting out. I mean, that was a big project. Um, But yeah, these colors are popping off real good. Real good. Like, even with the Chinese inks. 
even with these junks, but them cannon inks, you know, them cannon inks really pop off. But shouts out to Sophia Global. I got I ain't, I ain't go to her website, but I just got this from eBay. But yeah, she got some um if you need some ink for the clutch time and you decide on getting this printer, get the Sophia Global because she is cheap. She is $20 cheap. I mean, you get these inks, fill it up, you good. I mean, but it's a slight, it's a slight color difference though. I ain't gonna lie. It's a slight color difference. I mean them them candy inks pop off. Alright, so I've stopped rambling. Whoop. All right, so she wanted this on the back of the shirt. She wanted that on the back. Let me see if I could try to get a sample. Bring up this sample right quick. So, basically, she wanted me to do that on the back. Um, yeah, that's the back of the shirt. Um, something quick. She's trying to give out free hugs downtown. You know, everybody need a hug. Come on, give me a hug, girl. <laughs> But all right, I'm going. I'm going um, on a tangent. Um, once again, share this video, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. If you need some help, uh, let me know. I'll let your boy. Peace.